Welcome to Excel's Nodno. Today we'll show you how to quickly and easily merge tables using between and in Power Query. Here we go. Here you can see two simple source tables. The green table on the left contains product numbers and sizes. You can think of it as a simple fact table. The second red table on the right contains size ranges, including the range ID. This is in contrast a simple dimension table. The resulting report then includes the size ranges from the dimension table and the values from the fact table. Before we begin, I would like to thank you for watching my video. If you like it, I would appreciate a like and if you don't want to miss any future videos, don't hesitate to subscribe. The tables have already been loaded into Power Query. We have both a fact table and a dimension table present. As you can see, no transformations were necessary for the dimension table in this case. Only changes in data types were required. On the other hand, there are more steps involved in the fact table. Let's go through them. After changing the data types, I will save the dimension table to the buffer so that I can easily work with it further. In the next step, we perform a merge between the fact and dimension table. Using the function table at column, we add a column named size interval and populate it using the table select rows function, which creates a table based on the dim buffer table from the previous step. Under the condition that the size from the fact table should be greater than or equal to size from and less than or equal to size 2 from the dimension table. In the final steps, we only need to expand the newly created table, taking only the size ID interval, adjusting the columns and deleting the size column. If working with production data, grouping the data would be necessary. However, in my testing data, it wasn't required. When we look at the data model, in my case using Power Pivot, but equally applicable in Power BI, we can see that the tables can now be easily joined using the size ID field. Here you can see the resulting pivot table, which uses intervals from the dimension table and values from the fact table. Thank you for watching.